Should we go and buy some crypto at PancakeSwap? I think that's an excellent idea, don't you? Good, I'm glad you agree. Let's go back to PancakeSwap. And here we are. Let's uh, hover over the trade link again. This little window will open that says swap. Let's click on swap. We're presented with this area that we are now beginning to get familiar with. It's nice, isn't it, when we kind of think, OK, I'm kind of used to what this is now. I kind of know what's what. So let's decide exactly what we're going to do. Here it says swap. We want to trade tokens. That's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to trade something for, well, what do we want to buy? I think we'll buy some EMP. What do you think? Let's do that. So um, we'll buy some EMP. So what will we trade? Well, let's have a little look at what I've got in my MetaMask wallet. Let me click on Mr. MetaMask head and uh, let's look at the assets here. I've got some BNB and I've got some Ethereum. So um, I'm, I think I'll choose a little bit of BNB. That will that will work for me. Let me click away. So I'm going to swap some BNB for some. Let me click in the drop down menu here and this window will open that we've seen a few times now. And now I'm going to select EMP. Now, if we had not added the contract address that we did in the last video, we wouldn't see EMP. That's why it's important to add the contract address first of tokens that you either want to buy or eventually sell. So let's click on EMP. It's a nice little noise appears. And now, look, this has changed. So now it's saying we can swap BNB for EMP. Make sure this arrow is pointing in the right direction. This is pointing down. So we're selling BNB for EMP. Now, I'm only going to buy a really small amount. Um, and what we would do is we would write in here the number of tokens of EMP that we want to purchase. But I appreciate, of course, you know, that's a bit tricky, isn't it? We don't really know how many. It's so much easier to work in terms of dollars. Uh, so let's say I want to buy, I don't know, $50 worth. So how, much, how many tokens is $50 worth of EMP? Well, let's use this trick that we've used many times now. Let's go back to CoinGecko and let's find out. So here I am at CoinGecko and I'm going to search for the token that we're going to buy, EMP. Again, I've said this before, make sure you are checking on the right one because look, there's a few that are, have got EMP in brackets here. So it's EMP money. So do make sure you click on the correct token. Many people don't. Uh, click on EMP.money in this case. And we have this handy dandy area in the middle here that allows us to do a quick little conversion. So um, it says EMP and US dollars. I'm going to type in, um, actually, I'm just going to do 30. 30 US dollars is 60 EMP tokens. Okay, so $30, 60 EMP tokens, perfect. Let me go back to PancakeSwap. I now know that I want to get 60 EMP tokens. I'm going to simply type in 60 there. Now, did you notice a few things happen? When I typed in 60, firstly, this is automatically populated up here. So PancakeSwap tells you how much BNB that will be. I've got 0.7 BNB, and it's only going to cost me 0.09. So I've got plenty of BNB. Also, of course, we never want to spend all of our BNB. Why? Let me ask you, why do we not want to ever spend all of our BNB? You got it. The answer is we need a little bit, just a little bit, for gas. And it is a tiny amount, so we always want to have some BNB. But I've got plenty here for this transaction and loads left for gas. So um, it's very, very simple. You may have even done this already yourself. I have seen some wonderful members here jumping ahead, which is great. But still, let's go through the process step by step. We're going to purchase uh, this amount of BNB. The arrow is down for EMP. Perfect. We're getting 60 EMP, which we just worked out is, uh, did we say $30? I think we did. Yes, 30 US dollars. And look, swap. So essentially, we click swap. It's asking us to confirm this. Let's click confirm. It's saying waiting for confirmation. MetaMask will open. We scroll down. We click confirm. And then we wait, like, like the patient yield farmer that we are. We can close this if we want. And then you'll see this little green uh, transaction here. Sometimes it may be red, which means it hasn't gone through. There's nothing to worry about. It just means you have to do it again. Uh, but this is going through. And then in a second, this will disappear, I believe. There we go. It will disappear. And uh, now you may have noticed, look, it says here EMP. Look, I've got 60 EMP in my MetaMask. Now we're motoring. Uh, my BNB balance has gone down a fraction. And if I click on Mr. MetaMask head himself, we will now see... You know what we'll see, don't you? We'll now see my EMP presented to thee. I was trying to make that rhyme. It didn't really work. Uh, let's click on Mr. Mesa Mask Head. And look, if we click on Assets, we've got the BNB, which has gone down a fraction. We didn't touch the Ethereum. Each share we haven't even looked at yet. But look, 60 EMP. You are on fire. So that is how easy it is to swap tokens. In other words, buy cryptocurrency using a cryptocurrency 
in pancake swap. That was kind of painless, wasn't it? Right, let's summarize. And what did we accomplish in this video? Well, you just saw me do it a second ago. Uh, in this video, we made our first purchase at PancakeSwap. And as I say, I appreciate some here because I've seen some comments uh, from some wonderful members that have already done this, which is fantastic. But this might well be the first time that you've used PancakeSwap. And in my case, I purchased some EMP. After a successful purchase, the crypto, EMP in this case, is seen in our MetaMask. Uh, remember, as I've said before, you'll always need some BNB for gas. So never spend all of your BNB. If you are purchasing using BNB, there is a little button in MetaMask that says max. So you could hit that if you want to spend all your BNB, then just take off a little bit to save some for gas. But you can always buy BNB at any time though. So uh, so you don't really have to worry about that for now, but uh, it's always good practice to not spend all your BNB. Uh, okay, so that's what we did in this video. What do I want you to do now? Well, this might be the first time that you've ever done this, in which case this is a big deal. I want you to go and make a small purchase at PancakeSwap only needs to be a tiny amount. I did $30, as you saw. You may need to go to CoinGecko to work out how much of BNB or Ethereum, whatever it is that you are spending, is in $30 worth or $20 worth or $10 worth. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to get comfortable and confident doing this yourself. So swap some crypto for another. Uh, I would suggest buying EMP, as you just saw me do. And also note the before and after numbers in your MetaMask wallet. It's always kind of nice to see. I always do that in my... I always have my legal pack close at hand. I'm always making notes of, okay, that's what it is. I'll do the tra transaction and then think, oh yeah, it has changed just because it's always good to kind of triple check these things. So let me know how you're feeling as well. Let me know when you've done this. Let me know if this is the first time maybe you've used PancakeSwap. This is a huge victory. This is another 1% victory a day. So let me know in the comments below, then we'll carry on in the next video.